anything up there. Okay. Ready to play catch? I want to make sure we get it right. Ready? Go. I mean, it looks like girl. It looks like it's the right thing for the girl. No, get on the chair. But it's going to be more sustainable yeah. and more fun. Ready? Go. Understand. Whoa, bad throw. Hold on. On immigration. Ready, go. Okay, back to the panel. Kirsten, uh, I mean, the public mm -hmm. understands. I mean, yeah. everybody knows. As Ready, so, go. You know, this is about the major. It is. Girl. I, also, I, I don't think that there's necessarily anything. Ready, wrong with go. That. And I, I feel very strongly about immigration. And, and obviously, I, I can relate to Chuck Hoffman. What about the, the yeah, public? Getting excited. Ready, that. go. But the president, he should not. Nah. The Democratic Senate. I mean, that, that is Ready, his job go. as the leader of the party. It's important to him in terms of being able to, you know, some balance Ready, his, go. Uh, you know, on the Hill. And so I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it. And we're only really talking about a couple months. Ready, anyway. go. And this really has become an issue in Good some key races uh, where Democrats would, could potentially lose their seats over yeah. this. Uh, Ready, Ready go. go. The seats in Whoa. The question is Charles yeah, Hunt, in the air. now. Ready, go. And the Republicans are out saying, okay, he's delaying it. He's still going to do go. this unconstitutional move right after the election. So hold on, North Carolina, Arkansas, and go. wherever else. Right. And it'll, it'll, it'll diminish the negative effect on Democrats. Because as you go. say, any Republican will say, look, this is what's going on. He's going to hit you right after election. And on the other hand, go. if he did this now, if he did this executive order, which would be tremendously unconstitutional, Oh, the, from the, the policy implication, go. it would be a firestorm. It would be in the headlines all day. Oh, it would my. be really energized by the USB you face, and it would sink a bunch of the Democratic senators. But to me, the real issue was the way he just lies about this, uh, the same way he did about ah, the ISIS. He didn't call ISIS the case. He obviously go, go. Stay back. Hey, go. Just ridiculous. He says, he actually interrupted himself to say, to Chuck, he says, and I'm being honest now. Chuck. Ready, you go. Know, whenever a politician interrupts a sentence to put that in, you know that this is what I'm talking here. 